Hi, I'm Ben Hanwalt, Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco, and today we're going to talk about some frequently asked questions on the Power Focus 6000. Now, in one of my previous videos, I actually went through how to connect our controller to Tools Talk 2. And in this video, we're actually going to talk about a little bit deeper and a little bit more advanced programming. And this is specific to programming the field bus. So, let's take a look down at the software. So if you look at my screen right now, at this point in time, I'm on the web GUI. Now the web GUI is a great interface and it's, it's free of charge and you can use it straight through the internet browser. Now, you cannot program your field bus connection and your bit mapping through the web GUI. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to my Tools Talk 2 and we're actually gonna get into the programming of the field bus and the field bus connection. So there's a couple of things that we need to get into. So over on the right hand side, there's a field bus tab. I'm gonna click on it. And then there's two different tabs in here that we're interested in. There's the overview tab, and then there's the field bus tab. So first thing I'm gonna do is create a very generic bitmap just for training purposes. So if I was to come in here, I can have different field bus bitmap configurations. This one is just a generic default. Uh, configuration one and I can come into it and let's just add a variable just just for training purposes right so let's add a disable tool so I'm gonna add the variable I'm gonna close it out and you can see we have our variable added so just for training sake let's say that this is all we want in our bitmap so at this point in time I've got my field bus bitmap created I can come in here and name it if I want to and I can name it maybe test bitmap and then I can go back to my overview tab, which is right to the left of it. Now when I go back to the overview tab, you're going to see a box that says field bus settings. Now on this specific controller, I don't have my field bus module installed, but to get a feel for what it's going to look like, the field bus type is selected from this drop down. So let's just say for training purposes that we're using Ethernet IP. So I'm going to select Ethernet IP, I'm going to set my update interval. I can also, I have a couple generic settings such as lock tool when field bus offline, red result handshake, and we can also set our IP address from the EIP network. But I'm going to leave that set to off, and we're going to put in a generic IP address for connection. Now, keep in mind, even if you do not have a gateway, you need to program a gateway in there, even if it's 0.0.0.0. So now I've got my generic settings set up for my EIP connection. The frame size is gonna be eight bytes in and eight bytes out. And then if we look over here on the right hand side, we're actually gonna see some settings. So we're actually gonna have the settings for our generic field bus virtual station mapping configuration. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna click add. So here we have a drop down. So if we do have multiple tools or multiple virtual stations on this controller, we have the ability to set a separate bitmap for each tool. So I'm gonna select the only virtual station that I have programmed, virtual station one. And then I'm gonna select my configuration. It's the test bitmap which we just created. Now I'm gonna click that, click on add, and now you're gonna see that I have a very clear uh, breakdown of which virtual station is gonna be using which portion of the bitmap. Now obviously, if I was to, for instance, maybe add a second tool, you can see by changing the frame size, it also gives us active feedback, showing us a difference in size in the to and from controller for the field bus distribution. And if we were to click add and I had additional virtual stations, I could have virtual station two in the second eight bytes in the bit mapping. So now, because we're using Tools Talk 2, we do need to push these changes. So I'm gonna come up to the top left. We're gonna see our arrow. I'm gonna click the push button on it. If we want, we can review all the changes. It's gonna show us all the changes we made. I'm gonna push. And now those settings are in the controller. So now at this point in time, we've programmed our field bus setup. So keep in mind a couple of things about the generic field bus setup. 
We need to make sure that we're using the correct uh, field bus file type, whether it be an EDS file or a GSD file, whatever it may be. We want to make sure that we're using the correct one for the PowerFocus 6000. And we also want to make sure um, that we have our generic settings such as update interval set accordingly with the PLC. So this was a very brief overview, but I hope it's been very helpful in terms of uh, learning how to program the field bus on the PowerFocus 6000 and really getting you started with how you want to integrate these systems within your own PLCs. So my name is Ben Hanawalt and if you do have any additional questions, please feel free to contact your Atlas Copco representative so that we can get them answered for you. Thank you.